Makeup is a fascinating term in English with several meanings and uses. First, it can refer to cosmetics like foundation and lipstick that people apply to enhance their appearance. But it goes beyond beauty. Makeup also means to invent a story or excuse. For example, if you forgot to do your homework, you might make up a reason why. Additionally, makeup can mean to reconcile after a disagreement. If you and a friend had a fight, you might make up and restore your friendship. In a different context, it can refer to forming something, like making up a team from different players. So, whether you're talking about beauty, creativity, or relationships, makeup is a versatile phrase that enriches your English vocabulary. The phrase make after in English can be a bit tricky. It means to pursue or chase someone or something. Imagine you see a friend running to catch a bus and you decide to make after them. It's like saying you're going to follow them quickly. This expression often conveys a sense of urgency or determination. For example, if you see someone you want to talk to but they're walking away, you might say, I'll make after her. It's not just about running. It can also apply to situations where you're trying to catch up in a conversation or a project. So, next time you're in a hurry to connect with someone, remember to use make after to express that chase. Get along with is a common phrase in English that means to have a friendly relationship with someone. For example, you might say, I get along with my coworkers, which means you enjoy a good rapport with them. This phrase can be used in various contexts, whether it's friends, family, or even pets. Interestingly, it's often used in the negative form too. If someone says, I don't get along with my neighbor, it indicates a conflict or tension. It's a versatile expression that reflects social dynamics. You can also use it in different tenses. For instance, we got along well in school refers to the past, while I hope we'll get along in the future looks ahead. So, next time you're talking about your relationships, remember to use get along with to express those connections clearly. Make up for is a versatile phrase in English that can mean to compensate for something or to replace what was lost. For example, if you missed a friend's birthday, you might say, I'll make up for it by taking you out to dinner. It's all about balancing the scales when something goes wrong. You can also use it in a more positive sense, like when you're trying to improve a situation. If you didn't do well on a test, you might study harder to make up for it next time. Interestingly, make up for can also refer to making amends in relationships. If you had a disagreement, you might do something special to make up for it. So whether it's about compensating, improving, or mending, make up for is a handy phrase to have in your English toolkit. The phrase make out in English has a couple of meanings and it's important to understand the context. Most commonly, it refers to kissing and engaging in intimate physical affection, often in a romantic setting. For example, you might say, they were making out at the party, which suggests a passionate moment between two people. However, make out can also mean to understand or decipher something, especially when it's not clear. For instance, if someone says, I can't make out what he's trying to say, it means they're having trouble understanding the message. So, whether you're talking about romance or comprehension, make out is a versatile phrase that adds depth to your conversations. Just remember to pay attention to the context to grasp its true meaning.